Yo, yo, what's good, world? You already know, man, it's your boy Gio, man, back with another one, man. This is crazy, man, crazy news, man. Like, it's your boy Dirk, man, he, he's he gone. They got him, man. They really got him. The last one that I made, I said I wasn't sure, but, yeah, they got him, man. This dude's about to get some time, man. He, he about to get some time, and all those guys, like I said, I already knew that it wasn't. It was, was going to be somebody teller, and it was one of his guys, man, that he looked out for when he got out, and even threw him 50 bands, man, and hooked him up with a place to stay and the whip and everything. They say it was wiretaps and, and all kind of stuff going on, man. So, yeah, they that was already in plan, man. It's crazy. They done got your boy Dirk Academics. He was crying, man. He fell on the ground crying, man. That's how big of an impact that was for people, man. So, yeah, this is going to be like a, what, 2030? 2030. Uh, Charles White was laughing at it, man. He was saying that, you know, once he get out, he'll be about the same age as him, man. He'll be able to grow his hair out, like, well, you know, if he went bald or whatever, you know, the, the enhancements to make your hair look better. Like it's like it's dead, but it ain't. Hey man, that's what Charles and White was saying. But this whole ordeal is crazy, man. Like I don't know, man. And it's it's then escalated to something crazy. So you know, some people say that young boy got the one up since Dirk's in there now. But I mean, they both got their situations going on, honestly, man. But. Y'all go check this stuff right here out, man. Let me know what y'all think about this one, man. They done got your boy. People tell him. This dude about to get some time. And he don't have no bond. Just let you know it's real. He ain't got no bond, man. Like, come on, man. When you, when, when they when they tell you he ain't got no bond, man. And this is for uh, attempted uh, pay for... Murder for hire. So, you know, that that's a serious charge, man. It's a lot of different things that he's been up in anyway on top of that before this was even, you know, happening. So your boy Dirk, man, he he gonna have to make 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 a nice comfy pillow, man. For a while. Like, you know. It's crazy, man, and a lot of people got stuff they got to say, man, about this happening, especially all the guys that's from Chicago and the ones still living in Chicago, man. This is deep, man. Like, they done got your boy dirty, man. And if that Rico hit, just know they coming for everybody. Everybody. Like, it's crazy. Like, Mm -mm. They done got your boy Dursky, 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 Dursky. Damn. Mm -mm. Well, what I'm doing, I'm going to keep this one short, man, on y'all. Check this video out. Let me know what y'all think, man. And drop in the comments, man. I'm be going live with this one, man. So, y'all stay tuned for that. And, um, yeah, man. Y'all. Y'all stay out of the way. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all stay out of the way, man. I'm out. So, first, Little Dirk has been arrested and charged with murder for hire. Now, I want to back it up a bit. So, previous to Little Dirk being arrested, uh, there were five other men that were arrested late uh, Friday, Thursday evening. Um, and these five men were five men that are reportedly connected to OTF, which is Little Dirk's, like, I don't know what we call it. That's his label. That's label. his group. That's yeah. his that's his entourage. Yeah. That's his crew. Um, so these are OTF members, and they were indicted by the feds in California. Now, these five men that were indicting, indicted are facing charges of conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire, resulting in death, as well as the use of carry and discharge of firearms and a machine gun in furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. Now, the death that is being referred to here by this, these five men is the cousin of rapper Quando Rondo. Now, if you guys remember, uh, some years back, King Von, who was also a, like a brother, very close uh, to Little Dirk, 
was killed in an incident in Atlanta. He was shot and killed after there was like a fight that broke out. Uh, the, the the person and the people involved in that were um, uh, connected to Quando Rondo. And there's been just this huge back and forth between the two directly, indirectly since that happened. So what the feds are alleging is that following all of that, this retaliation, there was a retaliation that was planned allegedly by the OTF members uh, to get back at Quando Rondo to kill him. And they were hired to do so, allegedly. But that went wrong. And instead, they killed Quando Rondo's cousin in L.A. on accident. Now, forwarding it to Little Dirk. So when this news broke, of course, everybody like is like, wait. Where, so what's going to happen with Dirk, right? So then a few hours later, it was confirmed via the Broadwood County Jail website. And as of 6.55 a.m. today, this is Friday, uh, October 25th, Little Dirk is still in custody in the Broadwood County Jail um, per their jail online system. We have the online system records here. So what's the charge? The charge he is listed as uh, he's being charged with murder for hire. He is being held. The description says he's being held for U.S. Marshals. And whenever you are listed as being held for U.S. Marshals as an inmate, that means that uh, yes, you are being extradited. You are a federal prisoner, but you are just being locked up by a local agency who is working with the feds to ensure that you get to where you need to go. So they're going to I'm, I'm sure going to take them to California where the other uh, five men are being indicted at um, that this time. There's no bond amount, of course, because it's being extradited and. And there is a mugshot that was released as well too. So And that's not the it's not the feds, right? We said it's the So Broadway County Jail is not the feds, but uh -huh. when you are in custody of or being held for US Marshals, that means that you are a federal prisoner. So mm. this is a federal situation that he will be involved in. Um, now, there is no more uh, details on the actual murder for hire charges. A lot of us reporters and just people are kind of piecing things together because his crew members get the murder for hire indictment and then he gets uh, locked up in Florida local agency murder for hire. So we're putting two and two together. But I'm pretty sure by the time I would say latest 9 a.m. we'll hear more. I have reached out to two attorneys that were listed for Dirk. I reached out to reps for him yesterday who immediately told me no comment. So I knew something was going down this was before he even popped up in the jail system. So I was just kind of looking out to see what would happen. Was so, he part of one of the five initially? Or was it? No, the five are, okay. are, are separate gotcha. from Dirk, like, all together. But this is just, uh, like, you never want to see something like this happening, right? Yeah, but I very think Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But, you know, also, I think the timing is insane because Dirk just tweeted uh, not too long ago, maybe a month ago, about everybody getting a second chance at life because his background was completely wiped. He said, everybody should get second chances at life. It's about what you do with it. My background wiped clean of all cases. I'm not a felon anymore. Who would have thought? I want to thank everyone who helped push my vision forward. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And since then, he's actually been doing a lot of community stuff. He mm -hmm. recently, for his birthday, his birthday uh, is October, I believe it's October 19th or the 18th. He held a huge prayer visual, a day of unity in Chicago, uh, right before his big concert that he normally does. I think it's called like Dirk and Friends in Chicago, which was like, there were tons of people there. It was all over the place. So the timing of all is just, this is just like, whoa. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I pray it's not true. I don't have an opinion until I, you know, get more information. But if it's true, that would be uh, incredibly. Charleston White reacts to Lil Durk getting packed up. I know what happened. So ain't nobody laughing at Durk. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> that boy got a federal no bond. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass holding closed up. He got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von, saying fuck King Von, all his time coming, they go get him. Drake time came for saying fuck Tuka, or uh, this is common. I, I don't know. Y'all be so hypocritical when it comes to your favorite rappers. I don't even know. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Say, let's make fun of Dirk like y'all made fun of me. Especially when y'all thought I got slapped. Look like that boy ass in trouble. <laughs> Salute the little Tim. Um, the demons stay up. I bet he go on the PC. Them California niggas try to extort it. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. 
GD, BD, on four them, they ain't got no say so nowhere. <laughs> but when they write a letter to somebody. But in the California prison system, cuz and blood run everything. And Pyru, that GD, BD, uh, four them, mm -mm, it's gonna be hard on his ass. Cause they're gonna be trying to extort him cause they know he got money. He might have to pay for a little protection. You know what? He might be all right. Cause he joined Asalaam Alaikum. One thing about it, Asalaam Alaikum, they look out for each other. <laughs> see, see, boy, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Boy, I'm riding through Oak Cliff right now. Boy, it's a beautiful, I'm finna ride by where Mo3 got killed at here in a minute. Let me find me a good little dirt song to play. <laughs> Let me find me a, good morning, boy and girl. <laughs> put that hit out on that boy so you've been trying to avoid karma they say karma is real i say it ain't real i say the i say you reap what you sow they say that's karma Jail. <laughs> i know it i'm <laughs> so ain't nobody laughing at dirt now it ain't funny now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me <laughs> that boy got a federal no bond Ooh, i bet that nigga ass hold and closed up he got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von, saying fuck King Von, all oh, his time coming, they go get him. Drake time came for saying fuck Tuka, or uh, is this his karma? I, I don't know, y'all be so hypocritical when it comes to your favorite rapper, I don't even know. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Say, let's make fun of Dirk like y'all made fun of me. Better when y'all thought I got slapped. Look like that boy has in trouble. <laughs> Salute the little Tim. Um, the demons stay up. I bet he going to PC. Them California niggas gonna try to extort it. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. GD, BD, on four them, they ain't got no say so nowhere. <laughs> but when they write a letter to somebody. But in the California prison system, cuz and blood run everything. And Pyru, that GD, BD, uh, four them, Mm -mm, it's gonna be hard on his ass Cause they're gonna be trying to extort him Cause they know he got money He might have to pay for a little protection You know what He might be alright Cause he joined Asalaam Alaikum One thing about it Asalaam Alaikum They look out for each other <laughs> See, see Boy it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood Boy I'm riding through Oak Cliff right now Boy it's a beautiful I'm finna ride by where Mo3 got killed at here in a minute let me find me a good little dirt song to play. <laughs> Let me find me a... Good morning, boy and girl. <laughs> Baby, I just want to show my body some shit. Yeah, yeah. Always been a little mad petition. Lately, let's catch up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to lose a count of these bags. Hey! Oh, my life. Oh, I didn't want to wake up and live like this here. I thought Pippi would go get it. Hey, Good little dirt song to play. <laughs> Let me find me a. You know what? I got a favorite little dirt and a little baby song. No, you know what? I got a song I want to play. I want to remind dirt. He was on. Don't stop changing dirt. Don't you keep doing good, son? You gonna be all right. They go. They probably go give you about 15, 20 years fed. You still a young nigga, boy. When you come home, you can still be about my age. No, you be a little older, but nigga, you see how handsome I'm looking at this age. Get you a little dye. Put that little dye in your hair like that, there. Let's see, so you'll still be all right, nigga. <laughs> you young. The 20 years won't hurt you. Dirt. Nigga, you can do 15 years on your dickhead. Long, you're young as you is. <laughs> what my motherfuckers all get? Hold on. Uh, go around. 
motherfucker, I'm doing something. I'm texting and driving and going live. Go around. I ain't got no job to go to. And I ain't got no kids got to be in school. <laughs> yeah, let me cut my hazard lights off. Little Dirk. Uh, hold on. Lil Dirk, and what's that boy's name? J. Cole, there we go. There you go. The boy, he was trying to get, there you go. There you go. There we go, y'all. Good morning, boy and girl. <laughs> Lately, I just want to show everybody some shit. Yeah, yeah. Always been a little mad petition. Lately, it's cash. Yeah, yeah. Got me losing count of these bags. Hey! All oh, my life. Oh, I've been wanting to wake up real like this, girl. I thought Pippi would go get it. They trying to keep me down. No, they ain't. You know you had put that hit out on that boy, so you've been trying to avoid karma. They say karma is real. I say it ain't real. I say the I say you reap what you sow. They say that's karma. The Bible don't even speak of karma. That's some Hindu shit, nigga. You reap what you sow, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you reap. That means you do wrong, you get wrong. And so, but if you call on upon the Lord. Boy, if you just give your heart and turn your heart to the Lord, you ain't got to worry about karma. That's where God's forgiveness is called grace and grace and mercy. Grace and mercy, nigga, beats karma. Read your Bible. Basic instructions before leaving earth. You heard money, man. Nigga, the Bible is the best game you can get, nigga. Ain't nobody laughing at dirt like they were laughing at me when I went to jail. Make fun of dirt like y'all made fun of me. Especially when y'all thought I got shot. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper, Go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> that boy got a federal no bond. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass old and closed up. He got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> If I was in Little Dirk's shoes, I would have did the same thing. Ain't no eating, ain't no sleeping, ain't no breathing until you get your get back. For the that took my right hand, man, tatted on my arm. You know how many mothers wish they had the balls to go out there and get their get back to see on the internet laughing? You know what it feels like to lose somebody that you love? Bond looked at it like whatever problem he had with Kondo, he like, I'm just going to beat his ass real quick. He, because he could have got somebody, anybody around him. This is King Von we talking about. He could have, he could have had a nigga he don't know. Like, yeah, shoot them niggas, do something to them niggas, hurt them niggas. It had to be something personal between them two to where, like, I'm finna put my hands on this nigga, and knock him out. And he was whooping that boy ass. But unfortunately, he had niggas on with him that was on point on some street shit, how they supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the same shit would happen. If it was Von, niggas swing on Von, niggas gonna start shooting. Cause they ain't gonna be in their mind like, oh, it's a brawl. They're just gonna start shooting. So it's just like, it's a fucked up situation. Bond tried to handle it like a real, like the, he tried to handle it the man way, I would say, but the streets don't respect that. Well, Lil Dirk and them, they definitely got get back. Oh man, I'm finna read this out to y'all, man. Five Chicago gang members with ties to Lil Dirk, OTF accused of being hired to kill Quando Rondo in L.A. incident where Lil Pab was murdered. Suspect faced death penalty of convicted. Indictments alleged flights and rentals cars were paid for um, with credit cards linked to OTF. Lil Dirk done, but I don't want to hear it. They was targeting Rondo, but they ended up killing Lil Pab. They came out with a story talking about Lil Pab ran off with the plug. He done did some more shit. Well, that ain't true. Mama Duck, she was pissed about that um, Stop the violence shit with the drill rappers in the air I still think it was a good thing I'm glad he did it before he got locked up so, You know, Lil Dirt, Your time is over with, bro You done traded in your damn Grammy for a jail cell, man I told you a long time ago, Lil Dirt. See, you too big to be hanging with these niggas Cut all of them off You too big, they thought I was hating Man, how you gonna cut off his friends? Well, you a C9 How you gonna cut them off? How you gonna cut off people? He was young, y'all. I don't understand. If y'all been drill fans or fans of the drill culture or what's happening in drill, y'all are very aware, folk, that niggas die at 15, and that's not even considered young, folk. On BD, Lil Steve was 15 when he got killed, folk. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, like, nigga, I know Ops who, nigga, Fathead was 14, I think, on phone them, like, well, like, what is, like, I don't, like, T.W., I don't even know how, how old little Taekwon was on BD, folk. Like, Tuka was a shorty on BD. Like, I don't, like, that ain't nothing new. That been happening since the very beginning, since y'all first became fans of this, folk, on BD, that been happening, folk. 
it's been literally shorties dying in this street war, folk on BD, folk like, 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 that's been happening. So if that's one of the reasons why he trended, his death trended so bad, that is Shortly after, the police files would start being released online, showing Lil Durk's ties to those that were arrested, and it is very concerning. It was announced, mugshots released for three of the five Chicago suspects allegedly involved in revenge for King Vaughn against Quando Rondo's friend Lil Pap. Dee Dee, Vonnie, and Boogie were all arrested, alongside footage of them being shared into the police file of King Vaughn shopping for jewelry with all of the suspects with them. The solitary Let's go over there. Boss, you good? My boy. Let's go. They got real in here, man, because he just stepped in. The money man just stepped in. As this proves that all of these men that were arrested were extremely close with King Von as well as Lil Dirk, as the Lil Pop case was silent for a very long time. This was, however, until reports of an OTF snitch was lurking and telling to get out of his own 12 year sentence. Stating, and I quote, OTF Jam rumored to be snitching, he apparently bit the cheese. As OTF Jam was facing a 12 year prison sentence on his own, however, the feds broke him a deal saying that you're free to go if you can give us information on the Lil Pab passing. As the police files regarding the investigation of Lil Pab is extremely disturbing. Lil Dirk and OTF went hard against NBA Youngboy's affiliate Quando Rondo and his crew for his involvement with Vaughn's passing. At first, Quando didn't want any beef. He even begged Lil Dirk to stop in DMs since Lil Dirk had been buying out all the venues for Quando's upcoming shows, making him lose out on a ton of money. When Quando knew that Dirk wouldn't let it go, he would then release the song Soul Reaper, saying, and I quote, man ran up on me, then we sprayed him, I'm talking lights out. We do the dash in that Durango, jump out with the pipe out, so tell them to pipe down. Now Lil Dirk didn't diss back for a very long time. This was likely due to him plotting and making a contract for those that want to get revenge for King Von to earn some sort of financial gain in doing so. As suddenly we would hear the news of Quando's crew getting hit at a gas station. Right now the search is on for Three people who police say at a Savannah rapper, a member of his entourage. It happened in Los Angeles and cameras captured the aftermath. As it would be this moment where Lil Pab sadly lost his life at the gas station, Dirk would end up claiming to be behind the hit as he would release a song not too longer with the lyrics, they like Dirk, he a singer, he won't do some, you can believe whatever you want, I got your folks hit. Now Quando knew that he had to retaliate, so he would end up dissing King Von and his sister in his track, Want Me Gone. He would say, and I quote, my favorite op gone, but his sister talked too much, no I don't don't like her, Lil Timmy rolled her brother up, he got stepped on in some Nike kicks. However, Lil Dirk would put a quick end to this in his feature with Babyface Ray. This is what truly got the attention of the feds, starting to breathe down the back of Lil Dirk in the entire OTF empire. He would poke fun at Quando Rondo for his reaction when he learned that he lost his best friend. He would end up rapping the lyrics, you look on the news and see your son screaming no no. As when Quando Rondo got the news that Lil Pab sadly passed, he started screaming on the side sidewalk screaming no. no this man a passenger in that car frantic at the sight however there's a lot more to this story and allow me to explain inside of the police files it also ends up dating back to the Lil Durk in NBA Youngboy beef because Youngboy's artist Quando Rondo was at the scene of the crime when King Von sadly passed and his friend Lil Tim was the one who did it but years before the passing Lil Durk and Youngboy were allegedly good friends they linked up on the track titled My Side although both parties started going at it when Von started beefing with YB before he sadly passed. Young boy talking about on this song, bro. What? You talking crazy on this one. Oh, yeah? He ain't even like that. Oh! On this <laughs> now. On this <laughs> Cap. You got cap in your raps. YB is straight not catching his back. As not long after, King Von started releasing photos of hanging out with Youngboy's baby mom, raising tensions even more. Youngboy responded with a post captioned, I'ma have my son get with your daughter since you troll it. And he even made a track with King Von's ex-girlfriend Asian Doll just to get back at him. The two continued to have back and forth between the years, but once King Von sadly passed, the police would note that NBA Youngboy was very disrespectful to the entire O-Block team when he released the track title Bring the Hook. They would have in the 
file these lyrics. This that Squid Game, O Block Pack get rolled up, what they told us, Atlanta Boy get fold up. With them believing there's gonna be an ongoing feud between NBA Youngboy's crew that has ties with Quando Rondo versus all of Lil Durk's teams. As Youngboy continued on the track saying, No, like I know, rapping, I don't care, my man, just like your friend, you'll bite the dust. Lil Durk knew that he had to respond. The feds, they had this saved. As he would drop the song, Aha, uh -huh, hitting back saying, and I quote, They acting like they like that since my Brody passed. I told Vaughn to leave that girl alone. She posted on the fans. Dirk didn't hold back with the release, hinting that they got their get back against NBA Youngboy and Quando Rondo, which they did. As Lil Dirk would rap the lyrics, We've been sliding through they blocks they don't know we have. Buddy got hit and we can't claim it, but I can show them. As ever since Lil Dirk dropped that song, the feds have been quickly investigating everything that he does. Easy academic to say you and NBA Youngboy Oh, so there's no beef. Beef who? NBA Youngboy. However, what's more concerning is an interview from Ruga, who would end up revealing that he's allegedly scared for his life because of Lil Durk. Anyone in the actual street life that is going back and forth between O Block and 63rd, all of these street teams that are going to war every single day against each other, they know something about Lil Durk that we don't, and the police are just trying to figure it out every single day. Hang on. What? No dirt, man. No dirt questions? Talk about dirt, bro. I don't even want to mention that name in this interview. As it really makes you wonder, did the FBG duck passing also have any connections to Lil Durk as well? We know that it had King Von connections, but Lil Durk seems to be a forgotten member in all of these street beefs until now. When he witnessed two cars stop in the middle of Oak Street, four men got out and started It was very rapid. There was no, um, there was no stop. Word is spreading on social media that the 26-year-old man pronounced is a well-known Chicago rapper. So, my wife um, has asked me for Christmas to do it myself um, to remodel the kitchen. And she wanted me to do it as a DIY, a do-it-yourself project for her. So, uh, I painted the cabinets. Uh, I, put, I put up wallpaper um, that's the backsplash is going to go up on so the it's a backsplash that's going to go over this wallpaper and now I've printed some vinyl um, this is high quality vinyl for our countertop so I'm going to do a video and show you guys how I install this vinyl now I printed this um, you get them at the t-shirtguide.com. We can print it custom-made vinyl um, for you. This is adhesive sticks, and it sticks, sticks like super glue. But it can get custom-made, and it's high quality. It's soft to the touch. Um, yeah, so let's get into the video. Give a super seeding and diamond. So it's going to take, I mean, you could probably tell me. I don't know if you know anybody who would know. So now he's arrested in Broward County. The U.S. Marshals got him. He's probably gonna waive all his rights, right? Because he's not gonna fight extradition. He's coming back to Cali, baby. He's, he's gonna he's gonna go back to Cali. They're gonna waive waive the right to have a court hearing for extradition. They're gonna go go to Cali, and then Cali they're gonna unseal his indictment, which is a superseding indictment because he's not on the one that got unsealed today. So when he's on the unsealed indictment, I expect one more person with him or two more, and then we're gonna be very clear on who's a snitch. Facts. So they're gonna they're gonna lock up one more person, I think. And I think co-conspirator four might get locked up too. You by the way, if you go back to that that O block trial. Everybody on that indictment is going. No, listen, co-conspirator four, I think it's a local Cali nigga. Whoever called up and said Quando Rondo staying at this hotel. If y'all niggas want to go kill him, slide here. Cause I don't. I read the whole indictment. They slid to the. They slid to the hotel the day before and couldn't find him. Then the day, the next day, they slid there again. But then they realized he left and they followed him to a clothing store and then they followed him to the other spot. So whoever co-conspirator four is, I think that's a local LA nigga. 
Somebody that know Dirk. Somebody that that connected that be into some shit. Because he's the one who gave the drop. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Co-conspirator 3, the one who booked the flights, that's the person he either cooperate. Well, I mean, he just might be a or he or she might be a civilian. He, they did a proffer, though. 100%. 100% a proffer. But again, I think, Wack, you know at this point, a proffer don't necessarily mean cooperation. Uh, well, number oh, one, no. Everything proffered in this cooperate. No, no. Well, it wouldn't mean cooperate. no Hold on, hold on. It well, would, all three niggas agreeing. These niggas giving up information. No, it wouldn't be a cooperation. Um, it wouldn't be cooperation if it's a civilian. Yeah, you definitely, but first of all, bro, ain't none of these niggas. Yo, whack, whack. Do you have somebody that booked flights, that booked car service, that just, they just used the account as an expense account, and, and you say, we need an Airbnb, we need five cars, we no, need... Oh, you're missing the point. Okay, go ahead. Nigga, listen, when you go to rental car service... When you provide that motherfucking credit card, that company credit card, your identification got to match that card. And you know this better than anybody because I'm about to bring up an old wound. When you check into that hotel, that card, that whole file got to be at that desk. And you know that. You ran into a problem with that, did you not? Yo, no, no. All right, hold on. No, but but here's the thing. That's, yes, you did. Nick, no, no, no. The bitches tried to claim you to have no money. No, no, no. That's why, a fact. Why, 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 Th that's not the so the way they're booking the shit if i book a car for you you just got to show up but we know the original card on the account the person who booked which is which is co-conspirator three they're not in cali that's a booking that's someone i won't call it a booking agent but somebody that worked for otf that book all the flights so if they're in OTF, they know who it is. They're they still going to identify who they left that, what name they put on that vehicle. It got, it got to be a name on the vehicle. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not arguing that. What I'm arguing is that co-conspirator three might be a civilian that gets a proffer. Like the feds going to run it down on them and say, you know, you just book flights for niggas to go do a murder. We're going to charge you with murder. They're going to be like, no, I just booked flights. I have no idea about a murder. In the indictment, it, it acts like co-conspirator three only booked the shit. They didn't know about the murder, which means you don't think the feds going to scare them to get all that info. They got text. They're going to do all that. They're going to do all that. Yeah, they, they probably did. So again, as a civilian, you don't care about a profit. If you're a street nigga, you should. Right, because you're involved in that shit. As a civilian, you're not involved. So a civilian, you're not involved. So for example, say I have an assistant, and I told my assistant to go book some flights for some niggas who about to go do some devious shit for me. My assistant might be like, oh, okay, they might not, I'm not gonna tell them, yo, these niggas about to go do some crime. They're just listening to me what I say. Now the feds gonna come be like, yo, whose name was on, who, whose name, you know, you know, I got business cards. When you have business cards, oh, you can have, go you can have 30 like names on it, but it, it says DJ Academics, but I could have my assistant has their own DJ Academics card. My, 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 my Whoever my, booked that shit, they're going to holler at them. Who did you approve to go pick these vehicles up? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, they gave and that they up, right? That's what I'm saying. They gave that up. But I don't know if that's snitching because if they didn't, if they're a regular civilian that didn't know about the crime. Nah, right? that ain't no, that ain't no snitching. That's a dumbass nigga who put a nigga like that in the middle. Of okay, the I agree. Okay, all right, we both agree. Which means yeah. if you about to, it, it, whack, if you about to get some young niggas to do some dumb shit for you, you shouldn't put them with your goddamn, uh, your goddamn travel agent who book all your travel for you game and blue face you shouldn't do that you're an idiot no that ain't, that ain't gonna happen that, that's not actually that ain't even my responsibility for you to get there you know what i'm saying that's on you to figure that out that ain't on me god damn man they really got this thing arrested man Life is that Lil Dirk would pay Brick Baby a hundred thousand dollars for the hit. Brick Baby is a rolling 60 neighborhood crib, and Quando Rondo is too. So the theory itself appeared to be far fetched. That's until Quando Rondo took to his Instagram to denounce the neighborhood card and drop his flag. Quando Rondo will state that he's dropping his flag because there's no loyalty in this, 
and the neighborhoods didn't have his back how he thought they would have his back. But the rumors that Lil Durk paid Brick Baby $100,000 for the hit on Lil Pop and Quando Rondo really grew some legs and even wings when Brick Baby dropped his single, Not Enough. Brick Baby would respond back to the fan theory of him receiving $100,000 for the hit on Lil Pop and Quando Rondo. See, Brick would respond back with some really questionable lyrics. He was ducking, trying to hide, now he inside the blunt. We dropped a hundred on yo, got go scrape your pot up. Them chats and flip just brand new charger, trying to follow up. We charge a quarter for a pack of hundreds, not a nut. The last nigga we turned to pack, we got a million plus. Yeah, the way Boogie do his thing, he need a million plus. T.S. how about walk him down, Jack on chop him up. He wanna smoke that chopper, hit his lungs, he coughing up, cough it up. Every time. Hey baby did have an issue with anybody those would be the dudes he would call because they do great work allegedly right i don't know but here's why that million dollar number was really important quando rondo himself would have now nah, i ain't gonna lie man yo shit i haven't watched one of them flock i haven't seen a flock will break down like this you see what i'm saying academic now nah, Chicago's Lil Durk loses his key to Broadview. Here's what's up. Amidst a shocking murder conspiracy arrest, Mayor Katrina Thompson withdraws the honor granted to Durk on October 18th. This decision not only severs Broadview's ties with Durk, but also ends their collaboration with his Neighborhood Heroes Foundation. The arrest stems from an August 2022 shooting in Los Angeles, allegedly involving members of Durk's OTF crew. While Bellwood's Mayor Andre Harvey initially backed Durk, the future of their honor remains uncertain. The drama unfolds as fans eagerly await what this means for Lil Durk's legacy and influence. Follow for more. No, they ain't snatch him because he pushing peace. He probably already knew they was coming for him. That's why he was pushing peace. You did what I'm saying? He was pushing peace, changing. Probably asking God for forgiveness. People know what they do. Not saying it's true, but I know what I done did in my life, so Durk should know what he did in his life. And now, OTF Jam, uh, somebody named Jam, been locked up in the jam for 12 years. Now just got y'all in the jam. For hire? Do y'all know that's like some Larry Hoover shit? Look, Dirk, you are now <laughs> head honcho. You the chief. You the you the man. You the you the god over this. You is the the money over this. You is put the hit on them. This is what that pe the people say. Like thug. You is the the top dog of the situation. You the top dog of the situation. You did what I'm saying? Thank you. You're the big boss? Oh, no. Yeah. She, oh, yeah, yeah. She's international sales. Right. <laughs> she just does international sales. Uh -huh. How about you? This is our, um, no, that's the big boss. That's the big boss? How are yeah. you? Yeah, I'll do it. No one should see what's up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know? So this is the that's design room. So. Oh, hey, mom. mom. How you doing? Your son gives me a hard time. <laughs> Now, damn, man, Lil Durk has been arrested along with five other OTF members that are supposedly being charged for shooting and killing Quando Rondo's friend back in L.A. in 2022. Damn. It is what it is, but supposedly there's one guy in the OTF crew that has been wearing a wire for over 10 years and has been snitching to the feds. Well, at least now we know that Lil Durk is in jail shaking because he once said in a song, if your friend's snitching, don't hire a lawyer. It is what it is, man. I'll keep you guys updated here in the Smack House and wow, let you know exactly what will happen with this case. But now we got Young Thug behind bars, Diddy behind bars. Now little Dirk behind bars, who's next in 2024? You said that you and King Von never had any issues. In fact, the last conversation was a good conversation. I'm, uh, the only thing I got to say about that whole little situation, but sometimes it's time to close that door on certain situations. I just want everybody to move on and close that door so whatever behind that door, let it get dealt with behind that door. Bro, I'm trying to get somewhere. I ain't none of these young dumb niggas no more. Bro, I ain't, bro, I don't care what nobody think no more. If you slap me in front of everybody, I'm not about to come kill you, bro. Not because once I kill you and you die and I go to prison and 15 years pass and I'm in a damn cage. Everybody who said I went out bad for getting slapped and didn't do nothing is gonna eventually grow up, get older and say 
he went out bad for killing him for forget for by the slap. Bro, I understand that. And I got more than majority of the people that always put a comment down about Bud So it's like, bet, bro, I'm trying to get so. Fuck all these niggas yelling about get back. I done yelled that before. Fuck get back. Sometimes Mother Nature gonna come back. Mm -hmm. Boy, if you standing in this grass and the tree about to grow and the roots grab you and drag your ass under. I ain't did nothing. I ain't gotta go to jail for that, and I ain't gotta deal with God, whoever somebody got power with. Don't even ask when they come to cash, they catch them black. Jam, get out that jam, I give him 50, ain't got an axe again. He said, uh, Jam, get out that jam, I give him 50, he ain't got an axe again, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got an axe shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. <laughs> what next? <laughs> what next? Shit. But shit, can you tell us how much uh, he gave you, or you don't want to even? No, you don't want to even no, no, we ain't gotta get into all that. But bro, made if sure he made a way for me to be straight. Like, like he's saying, gotta ask him, you know, like shit. Mm -hmm. Clear car. Whack 100 exposes Brick Baby for snitching on Lil Durk and OTF. How does Brick Baby got anything to do? Does, does Brick Baby know? I keep telling you he's the first one said it. Well, we all thought it was a bad deal with our minions. This fool came on the podcast and said, I guess you can't say OTF ain't slid for King Bond no more. He's like, what you talking about? Then he says the dude name that got insinuating OTF did that. When the whole world thought it was a bad deal. Deal with our Sloth of honor. Right? Nobody. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh yeah, because of FBG Cash. Oh who? Nah, because Lil Pop. That's <laughs> the new term. Uh, like no more Sloth of honor. Rapper Lil Durk appeared before a federal judge in Florida this morning. He was arrested there Thursday in a murder for hire plot. Coming off his first Grammy win earlier this year, Chicago-bred rapper Lil Durk is now facing charges in connection to a murder for hire plot. The 32-year-old was born Dirk Banks. U.S. Marshals took Banks into custody on Thursday in Broward County. Banks appeared in federal bond court this morning. Now, details about the rapper's arrest or charges have not been released. Five members of Dirk's Only the Family group, also known as OTF, were indicted by a California grand jury this week on charges of conspiracy to commit murder for hire. Banks' arrest comes just weeks after he was named in a lawsuit which alleges the rapper had a hand in a 2020 gang-related deadly shooting of a Chicago rapper, FBG Duck, born Carlton Weekly. Weekly was killed in the Gold Coast neighborhood by a group of masked men as he waited to enter a high-end store. Six purported gang members were convicted of carrying out Weekly's murder. Weekly's mother spoke with ABC7's Karen Jordan after filing the lawsuit. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him and the life that was taken from him. Now, Lil Durk and his team did not comment on that lawsuit. We'll be sure to update you when we learn more about the charges the rapper is now facing. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News. OTF Jam, the guy that snitched on Lil Durk, talks about how Durk held him down his whole 12 year sentence and gave him $50,000, a house, and a car when he got out. Before the money, that was bro. I remember when the money went there. I'm going to say you 50. I'm going to yeah, got yeah. you or not. Hey, still doing I gave my lawyer money and everything when I'm fighting my case. I ain't going to lie. Durk come through. All that, like, Durk come through. That's sure. I'm going to lie. My whole time was yeah, I was straight. He was one of the main, main motherfuckers that held you down your whole bitch. Yeah, yeah. He made a way for me to be straight, like. Like he's saying that I asked him, you know, like she in a crib, car, all that. Like, they let me take care of anything I need to take care of, period. Like. Derek, King Von, and Quan Rondo, obviously because Quan Rondo and his brother Lil Tim is responsible for the death of King Von. So people automatically assume that Quan Rondo and his best friend getting hit up was a hit called by Lil Dirk. 
Lil Durk wasn't in LA at the time of Lil Pop's death, so the fan theory is Lil Durk solicited the help of a reputable LA gang member, Brick Baby. To what? Yo, come on, Flacco, Flacco. See what I'm saying? Wait, Flacco. Yo, hey, I got my team in here, Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You, nah, you, nah, come on, bro. Like, yeah, nah, bro. Like, I like, 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 Wait, hold on. I'm gonna play it again. Flacco, yeah. this Durk hey, wasn't Flacco in LA. More than what he's saying. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's see. On these and hit up making, was a hit called by Lil Durk. Lil right Durk now, wasn't boy. in LA at the time of Lil Pop's death, so the fan theory is Lil Durk solicited the help of a reputable LA gang member, Brick Baby, to take out Lil Pop and Quando Rondo. Fans will claim that Lil Durk will pay Brick Baby, who can be seen here, photograph for Lil Durk in LA a month before Lil Pop's murder. Yo, what's a message for the youth, man? I hope y'all learn from this situation with Lil Durk, man. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? When you got the crown, when you're on top of your game, when you're doing your thing, when the fans love you, when the streets love you, when everybody love you, when they give you the key to the streets, they give you everything, bro. And it's messed up, man. You got to look up and see. A brother get his life took in due to a mole in your circle. Folks made all them songs locked up, uh, asking where I'm gonna be in 10 years. I told them I'm fed. Sometimes people feel this stuff, they feel it. They see it, they feel it, they know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, this right here is a message. Be careful to the company you keep. All this, my homies, and this and that. Man, listen, man. It's so much. I'm going to go on my YouTube channel and tell y'all. OTF Jam, he felt the way. He felt the type of way. Somebody was murdered. He was on the case with one of the other uh, OTF members. And Dirk was, you know, right hands with him. And he felt the way. You know what I'm saying? Nobody did nothing for him under that aspect. So, with that being said, it was some sneaky foul play behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? He felt like motherfuckers let him down and play with him, so he let them down. He took them down. He took the whole thing. Be careful. Y'all putting them chains on. You see YTV, uh, uh, little Faso. Little Faso said, man, you could have the chain back. You could have the chain back, man. I'm going back to school. This three stuff ain't it, it ain't where it's at, man. That ain't where it's at. Mess your whole life up. And some of them guys that's locked up for that, I know them personally. Personally. Since I was a jit, since I was a kid, gang. You know what I'm saying? Make the wrong choice, gang. Gonna end your whole career. Your whole career is over with. And I don't wish death and I don't wish prison on nobody, gang. The average person do this to they self. Y'all get so arrogant and cocky and big headed and think you could do whatever you want to do. You ain't got the power, man. You ain't got that much power. Nobody bigger than the system. The feds, when they see you doing that, they coming. You playing games, we watching you. They was watching the GDs. They was watching Duck. They was watching it. The, they was watching everybody. At first, they watching everybody that's in position. What they don't like is power. You got enough power to influence a motherfucker to do something to somebody or anything. You got enough influence to, you know, they seen all this record labels and all this, da -da -da -da, this music is making, it's kill people and they, everything that it's doing. They sitting back. We're going to get you, buddy. We're going to get you. And even if he beat the case, they're gonna, they're gonna break his ass. You're gonna spend hell of money, lawyers, da 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 da. You know, sit you down, waste your time, take your freedom. Even if you don't, even if you do beat it, we got you out of time. You are gonna sit down? There's no bond. There's none of that. It's over with. Sit down, get you a lawyer, sit in jail, and you over famous. They're not letting you walk in population. They're going to put you in 23 and 1. You have no choice. You have no choice. They're going to tell you that. You know? 
He's super famous. No, we're not letting him walk through main line like that. He might do get lucky, but I don't think so. But all them songs, everything Dirk done made and da 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 da. Man, you should you been giving advice to other people. You should have been taking advice for yourself. Watch who you call your homie. All that. You should have watched who you called your homie. They want to talk about yelling and talk about me and talk about them. Let me tell you who win at the end of the day. The last man standing, man, breathing out here with their kids, walking this land as a free man. You're not winning in jail. <laughs> you definitely not winning inside no goddamn casket. More of the story, be careful with the company you keep. Be careful with your friends. Be careful what you, what you say out your mouth. Be careful what you say to people. Be careful who you hang with. Be careful. Every person is not meant to know about everything. I tell y'all, this music, y'all just be... And y'all call somebody a snitch. But half of the music, half of everything. Everything. They got from your goddamn self. Shocking twist in OTF. An informant within Lil Durk's crew has finally been exposed. A major scandal has shaken OTF. It's been revealed that a member of Lil Durk's own crew, known as OTF Jam, was acting as an informant. For years, he wore a wire, feeding information to authorities without raising suspicion. What makes this story even more intriguing is Jam's past. He served a 12-year prison sentence, which now has everyone questioning his motives for betraying the group. This revelation is sparking mistrust and could completely change the dynamic within OTF. Beyond exposing secrets, the betrayal of someone so close raises hard questions. Is anyone else in the crew passing information? How will Lil Durk react to this betrayal? Comment below if you want a part two on this story. This situation is sure to unravel explosively. OTF Rico is Lil Dirk Cooked. Five people in Chicago have been hit with federal charges in California, alleging they were contracted to kill Quando, Quando Rondo due to his involvement in King Von's death. The flights and rentals, the rental cars were paid with credit cards linked to OTF, according to prosecutors. A Rico. This right here is, they're not saying Dirk name, but Dirk is the co-founder and the founder of OTF. So to the world, everything is going to fall back on Dirk. Everything's going to fall back to, on Dirk. Everything's going to fall back on Dirk. And I understand why he's trying to change now and stay out the way and have no involvement. But just like Young Thug, Case Gang, all it takes is one of these niggas to say that boy name. And he's going to go down with the rest of these niggas. And, and stuff happened. I'm not saying Dirk paid for a hit. I'm not saying nothing. But uh, uh, according to these people, they're going to, the flights, the cars was linked to OTF. And all five of these people, there's even a female name in there, are linked to OTF. Free little Dirk, man. Free little Dirk, man. Probably going to keep speaking out against it. I don't give a damn. Nobody say this is what I believe in and this is what I stand on. Everybody else can speak on shit, but when Rallo say something, oh, it's a power, he clout chasing, or he corny, or he lame, or ain't nobody came over here and shut me up. Ain't no motherfucking body check me yet. Can say what they want to say and hide up, hide behind this internet and all these fake Instagram pages. I ain't nobody playing on me like that. I ain't going just cause a nigga be on all this peace talking shit. Don't don't get it fucked up. A nigga ain't no hoe at all, Joe. I just learned how to move from going to the feds and seeing all the big dogs get life sentences in prison and shit. I just got out and learned how to move. So I won't have to goddamn be one of them that go to prison for the rest of their life and be looking crazy. I'm not going to no motherfucker. I can go in there, but I don't give a damn what y'all say. I ain't on that.